The future is bright. Did you tour the expo today? Yes. Were you inspired? Yes. As I walked through, I saw some amazing, remarkable solutions to real problems. And I'm confident that many of you were also inspired. And you're ready to go out and solve a problem. Because as, as success breeds success, inspiration leads to innovation. And now you're ready to take your idea and put it into action. Or maybe your boss just asks you to lead a big project at work. Or maybe you need to recruit a bunch of volunteers to raise money to send a group of high school students to Washington, D.C. So what are you going to do? What are the practical steps you can take? What are the tools you need? How are you going to build your team and start that business? In that project at work, you're going to have a group of people that don't report to you. You're the team leader, but not their boss. And those volunteers, you know, those kids are counting on you. You've got to raise that money to send them to the nation's capital. What are you going to do? What are the practical steps you can take? What are the tools that you need to be able to manage that project and lead that team? Yeah, management or leadership. Which one are you going to need? The answer, actually, it's both. So let's take a look at what it means. Management, we've got a pretty clear definition of what it means. If we were to walk into any business 101 class and take the text on business and look in the management section, we'd find a definition that's pretty simple. Plan, organize, lead, and control. That's it. That's all there is to management. It's very simple and very straightforward. Plan. You need to define what needs to be accomplished. Organize. You need to, to gather the available and necessary resources. Lead. Now, this is in the supervisory sense. You need to make sure that those resources are available and the people know when and where to be. Control. You need to monitor your progress and make sure and verify that you are on task and you're going to accomplish that. So that's management. It's very straightforward, very prosaic, very simple. You can apply that. Unfortunately, with leadership, we really don't have such a clear definition. We tend to understand leadership and teach leadership by looking at great leaders of the past, which is wonderful. It's great to understand how they led, and that can be very inspiring, like reading a poem. But these are the four practical traits of leadership that you can apply. Communicate vision, build trust, inspire greatness, and move to action. So what do I mean? Communicate vision. A leader doesn't need to create the vision, but needs to communicate that vision. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're reaching out in the future, and you're grabbing that and bringing it into today so that your team understands that the actions they're taking today will make that future reality. Build trust. And I'm not talking about the trust between the leader and the team. That's implied. If you do not have the trust of your team, you're not a leader. You're more of a tyrant or a despot. What I'm talking about is building an organization where all of the team members trust each other, where they know that their partners will fulfill their obligations and that together you're going to reach the desired goal. Inspire greatness. Now, this is the coaching aspect of leadership. This is where you, you are going to need to push individuals to attempt something that they never thought they could do. And this is one of the most rewarding aspects of leadership. When you see someone succeed where they never thought they would go. Move to action. This is your report card as a leader. Because if people are not taking action and executing, you're just an inspiring speaker. You need to be able to take those people and move them into action. So that's it. Let's sum it up. We've got management, which is plan, organize, lead, control, leadership, communicate vision, build trust, inspire greatness, and move to action. These are the practical tools you can use to take your idea and move it into action. And remember, it's not about making money. It's about living a life that makes a difference.